Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, and today I'm playing something very special. This is F Zero Climax on Game Boy Advance. However, this game has just been translated to English. This has been the, I think, the only F Zero game to not make it to the West. So this game has been locked in Japan since you know mid 2000s when it originally came out, and somebody or a team just released an English patch. I'm super excited about this. The only thing I did is I entered my name, and this is pretty much the first time I'm playing this. Now, what makes this F-Zero game special here on Game Boy Advance? Wow, this is a crazy menu. So I guess I haven't unlocked these three things in the middle, but you can edit and make your own tracks, which is bananas. Really excited to dip into that. Yeah, we want background. We'll I'm sure the default control, character profile, and story. Haven't unlocked anything there. Let's jump in. Communication, this game does have multiplayer capabilities. Maybe I'll cover that in another video, but I just want to check out Grand Prix. And I haven't played an F-Zero game in a long time, so I'm definitely going to play Novice. And let's just start with the Browns Cup. Got to go with Captain Falcon. He is my main in Smash. Bunch of extra characters. Look at this. Huge roster. Yeah, I haven't really, I haven't played this. I played the hell out of Maximum Velocity, which was the first game. It was actually a launch game, and I got it at launch over the remake or the port of Mario 2. So yeah, typical F-Zero controls, but if you hit L and R now, you can do a spin attack. That was not in the original game. Mute City, 6 carat, race number 1. You can follow me on Twitter, by the way, at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. I'm the editor in chief of MyGamer.com. Been writing about games for almost 20 years. I blog at SquallSnake.com. Wow, here we go. Yeah, this is a good looking game. I mean, right off the bat. So, if you've never played F Zero, this is Nintendo's other racing game besides Mario Kart. Big differences here because there's no weapons. This is purely just racing. And the gimmick with F-Zero... Alright. You got a new booster. If you notice my bar in the upper right hand corner change it like a rainbow color now. And now if I hit the B button right there I could boost so your boot whoa bad turn really bad turn your boost becomes available oh no they passed me and if you boost it takes some of your shield away and to rejuvenate your shield you gotta go over this pink stuff If you bump into another racer, oh no, 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 man, 6 out of 24, not so great. So yeah, if you, uh, we almost ran out of energy there. That's the, that's the difference with F-Zero, is your energy can deplete, and once it gets depleted, yes, yeah, 71 points, you blow up and you die, and you gotta do it over again. Sand Ocean. Yeah, I think you get three retries. And it gets crazier. You get jumps and stuff. But, yeah, this is in English. Three, two, one. one other interesting fact about F-Zero Climax here is, if I'm not mistaken, the announcer's kind of a kind of annoying but if I'm not mistaken this was one of the few games also man I just took a beating there geez to actually have e-reader support so in Japan there was e-reader cards and you can scan them like how in Mario 3 you can unlock new levels and get new abilities and stuff. I don't know all the details about it, but I know that there was extra levels, and I want to say somebody also patched this game with with the e-reader levels, 
which is super cool. Basically DLC in card format before DLC was even a thing. Final lap, not doing too well here. So, I wonder if I can kill Oh, I missed him. Take one bad turn. Way to go. Way to go as I lose. Yeah, not good. 15. Not good, man. You take one bad turn. Yeah, F Zero has always been a harder game, that's for sure. If you ever played the one on GameCube, it's like the hardest game ever made. Poor time. I mean, I'm getting some stuttering here. I think that just might be my emulator that I'm using, but. Man, look at that car. You can... Nice looking game. Okay, so I get a worse pole position. Whoa. You're moving up. I am moving up. I think the secret to controlling this game, when I played it on maximum velocity, you hold down the triggers to uh, tighter turn, to turn tighter, and then you you tap the A button. You don't hold it down. Whoa! Intertwining tracks. So that's what you got to do, but much easier said than done. Two laps to go. Yeah, I don't know if the voices. The voices always had to have been in English. I don't foresee them changing that, but. So yeah, in America, we just got maximum velocity on GBA, which was a launch game. And then a sequel, which had a tie-in with the Fox TV show, GP Legend. I don't recall ever watching. I mean, I might have seen like one episode or something, but. Hang in there. You're moving up. Don't give up. I'm not going to give up. Mr. Announcer, man. Oh, bad bounce. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn. See, one bad turn. You smash into the wall once. Screws ya. Man, I'm getting killed over here. Tenth place. Jeez. I'm gonna try to kill somebody. That's what the little uh, skull, yeah, skull symbol on the right side means. Three, two, one, fire. Got a nice boost off the start. And for some reason my vehicle just lost, that was weird. Just lost power. So you want to hit the boosts. Hang in there. And Don't give up. yeah, the track has this snow that makes it slippery, it slows you down. Because you need to really use the shoulder buttons, you really got to get a good grip on your GBA. Because you got to just, you don't have time to you have such little time to react. Well, I haven't really doing 
well. Haven't seen anybody to try to kill. All right, that was good. Got some energy back. Whoa, he nailed me. blew it. Oh, man, see, I was doing so well. I almost died. If you fall off the track, you die and you got to do everything over again. Man. Ninth place went up one spot. Fire field. Is this the last? I don't know if there's five in a circuit. hit him, but it didn't kill him, because I'm guessing these guys also have energy. It's not going to be a one-hit kill. Yeah, I noticed. Will do. Hitting the boost can actually screw you because if you boost right into a wall that's going to be worse oh see no 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 come on that was a short it seemed like a shorter track Man, eighth. At least this game, you actually f race against other racers in maximum GP. Oh, yeah, that was the end. Total rank eight, so yeah, I suck. In the original game, there would just be, like, garbage vehicles on the road that wouldn't race. They would just get in your way. So it was always hard to see and tell which guy am I supposed to kill, which one am I supposed to beat, which one can I smash into the side of the wall. But here it's more Mario Kart-ish. It's just you get a lot of racers in like the console version, actually. I wonder if I beat this on. I just got to be a time trial mode. I want to say one of those other tiles on the main screen might have been the e-reader mode. Who knows? But this game is in English now. That's so cool. Oh yeah, there we go. Time attack. Just unlock time attack. Perfect. So I wonder if... Wow, there's a lot of... So silver, gold, platinum, championship, then edit course. Zero test. What it be? I'm going to click on edit. I want to just try this out real quick for the stream. This is the very first time I'm trying this. Edit, test, run, watch, race, delivery. Send, receive. Oh man, you can link up with another person and send and receive courses. How cool is that? Password. Input, output, password. Interesting. So let's load, you know, let's just load Mute City, track one. Also, it gives you all the pieces. Fascinating. So let's probably delete, I don't know. It's two by two. Oh, look at that. And you can rotate and everything. Oh, and then you can add water and stuff. That's co that's cool. All right. Let's try this just do one by one. Oh, I see. This is your map now. All right. All right. So let's go down here. Let's start. I don't know.
override it. That's cool. All right. Okay. Digging this. Let's make a big. Look at it. This is very intuitive. Well done, F Zero. Now, if we only had this on the N sixty four disk drive in America, that would have been cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the. Uh, incomplete. Oh, I didn't want to hit, and I didn't say, oh, here we go, save. Test one. I think jo I unlocked Jody Summer. I think that was new too. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, the game froze. No. Oh, bummer. It froze. Damn it. Well, that would have been cool. It is cool. It is intuitive. I think this this game nicely done. Option. Uh, did not unlock any character profile. Storyline? I guess you can see panels maybe. A lot here. That's so cool. So, there you have it. This is communication. This is F Zero Climax. Yeah, single pack link, multi pack link, and then you can swap courses and stuff. That's so cool. That's awesome. This game, glad to see this in English now. Time attack mode edit. I want to see, I want to look up and see what these other options are. One of them's got to be the e-reader, I want to say. Could be wrong. But anyway, this is F-Zero Climax in English on Game Boy Advance. Super cool. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.